Pensacola was a you know a small town slash big city. Honestly, it's a very loving community. Um, it's, it's small enough that kind of everybody knows everybody, so it made childhood a lot a lot of fun. My uh, my parents are very disciplined, you know, based. Um, my mom was Air Force and my dad was Army, and so after my dad got out of the military, he served on the police department for 25 years. Um, so it was very strict household, it was very uh, regimented. Um, the kind of day to day was very like on script and if it wasn't on script, then the day was all out of whack. As a kid, you're like, why am I having to do all this? But as I've gotten older and I've matured, um, I've realized that, man, that stuff shaped my life, my, my daily life, to where like everything is regimented, even to when I come into the building, the time I leave, like my whole routine throughout the week, it, it shaped everything, honestly. Hey, this is the last chance that everybody in this huddle gonna look together, you feel me? Hey, don't leave this field with no regrets. Let's go fly around and have fun, man. Hey, family on three, one, two, three, bam! Sometimes things are gonna fall to the left and not to the right. Right, but you don't run and you don't waver during that situation. My parents having that militant background, that's kind of something that was instilled in me, right? It's like, I watched my parents both, they had their struggles, you know, but they never wavered when things got hard. You know, they looked at it dead in the face and they said, let's go, and they attacked it. So I've applied that to my day-to-day -day and into my journey, as you guys all know. So no matter the situation, you know, you keep going. Safety earns a spot on this year's roster after stints on the practice squad and being cut by this team several times before. The first reaction when I woke up and saw everything was to call home and like call my mom. And then it kind of like process late that, you know, she's not here. Um, you know, my mom was my biggest fan. You know, she was always in my corner. She supported me through everything. Out there is when I feel her the most, you know, and I feel her with me at the, the most. And so just being able to, you know, share that moment out there on the field and just feel my mom out there is kind of a, it's a it's an indescribable feeling. When I wake up, you know, how do I attack the day? I think that's the best way I can honor my mother. Um, one of the things that she wrote me in a letter um, before I left for college was, um, you know, you, you treat all people with, you know, love and integrity because you never know the effect you might have on somebody. You know, there's enough negative out here. My mother was always trying to be positive with us. And so carrying that side of her with me, um, I've tried to apply that to day-to-day -to -day life and uh, you know, just honor her and make her proud of there because I know she's watching now. I wasn't alive when my parents served, um, but I know the sacrifice that it takes. And um, at the end of the day, like, I have the utmost love and respect for them because I am coming from a home that was, you know, military. You know, it's, it's the most genuine love and respect and uh, gratitude, honestly, because um, they make what we do, you know, possible you know, make it possible to be free, you know, and enjoy the freedoms of, you know, being a free American. And uh, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and from my family as well, from uh, one military family to the next. Thank you.